At LAX, Yolanda has been called to gate five following reports of a passenger's rather strange display. Are you sure that he doesn't have any pants at all on, or is it? I was told that his genitals were exposed, so I'm here and I'm gonna try to figure out who he is and call him up, and that'll give me an opportunity to see him stand and hopefully deal with him. Okay. Sir, can you come with me? I just need to ask you a question. For those passengers who are still waiting for a Just right over here. Yeah, would you mind stepping over with me just for a second? I'm a supervisor for Southwest Airlines. Basically, the passengers felt uncomfortable. Okay, they had noticed something just a little different within the passenger. It looked like that he wasn't wearing any undergarments on, that he was in decent exposure exposing a little bit of his private parts, and they said he kind of had his legs open, just not really caring at all. I mean, and it's a lot of kids running around there, and they don't need to see that. I mean, it's just too much. So they just didn't really feel comfortable with that person being on the flight. There was a couple of passengers that had some concerns about your genitals being exposed, and, no, no, and no, that, no. so you're wearing shorts or something under that? Please no, tell me. No, that's not true. I mean, if they... Okay. So, I had three I different know. passengers, so I had to so, come yeah, and yeah. investigate it because I have to determine whether or not with the complaints if I can go ahead and allow you on board. So if you have yeah, something yeah, underneath, do. you do. Okay, thank you. All right. Yolanda still doesn't have the answer she needs. I'm not certain as to whether or not he has something on under the velour kilt skirt type situation. But obviously, I can't ask him to lift it up, so it's going to be one of those things where he said he did. The other two passengers said he absolutely doesn't have anything on me. So I'm kind of between that. It's going to be a situation where I have to kind of watch and unfortunately try to see what I can see, for lack of a better phrase. I mean, I don't know. When I went over there, he stood up. I couldn't tell. He told me he had something on under it, but I couldn't tell because he didn't move in a way where I could tell if he was exposed or hanging loose or whatever you want to call it. So She calls a manager to see what sort of procedure fits this unique situation. Okay, so just tell him that he needs to put something else on if he wants to travel. Oh, where did he go? Okay. Okay. But our kilted friend has vanished, and Yolanda knows she needs to find him. Yeah, I don't see him. Uh, I think I lost him. Sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry to bug you again, sorry. but I just had to speak to a, a man, another manager about the situation. Uh -huh. If you're going to travel on Southwest, we're going to have to have you put something else on. Do you have something to change into? <laughs> Sir, do you want to just take a minute and change? Why am I being harassed? Well, it's not an issue sorry. of harassment, sir. There, there are a couple of, sorry, there are a couple of the passengers that that felt like you were de indecently exposed in what you're wearing. That they're saying that there's nothing under your kilt, or and that we're going to have to ask you to put something something on. I don't think that's. I don't think that's appropriate. You know. Yeah. I mean, what do I have to do? Do I have to show well, you my no, underwear? Well, no, no, you don't, you don't do have I, to. Do, no, you don't is. need to show me your underwear, sir. OK, well. You don't need to. But no, if, if, the, no. if the kilt is short enough to expose yourself when you sit down, then that's something that. Ma'am, you, you have to tell everybody who's wearing a skirt or a kilt. This, is, this ain't right. OK, the only way, though, you're going to be able to travel, and I've already spoke to another manager about it, is to, to put something else on. And I'm sorry. But what if I had not had a pair of blue jeans? Then I would actually go out of my way to try to find you something to yeah. put on. And even if I wasn't wearing anything underneath, what difference would it make? Does somebody go around and ask you if you're wearing underwear? Well, Whether no, you're but if... Whether you a skirt or a dress or anything, right? Do but they? If, if they Do sit, they? if I'm in a public place and I sit down and they can see my so, private parts, then yeah, they have a right if they're going to fly me on their airplane to tell me that's not okay. You got to put right. some short, do you have shorts this that you, is, you can wear? Right. 
pair of shorts that you can wear? I'm being harassed. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Because you know what? I can. I'm going to sue. I'm sorry. And I need to know your name. I'll give you. Yeah, when you come out, I'll give you everything. Okay. Okay. Threatening legal action is fine, but first things first. Better find something to wear on the plane. Brian, happy Brian. Leverett Smith dons a pair of jeans for his flight, but he's not done yet. I mean, I understand your concern, indecent, but you have to understand. You know, do you know, do you know the definition of indecent exposure? It's a deliberate, willful, and lascivious manner to expose yourself in public. It's not by a woman walking down the street who has no underwear on or anything and the wind blows her skirt up or whatever she's wearing or dress. It's not considered indecent exposure. So you're way off base. Well, what I'm saying to you is they felt like no, you were indecently exposed. I didn't say that you, you were indecent. So, you know, the, you know the, if they the, can see your private yeah. parts when you, you sit down, ma that's a problem. Ma'am, you know what? I, mean, you, I just, you, I don't, it's, you don't even sorry. know the definition of a law. I'm not it's saying like, you broke a law, sir. I'm just saying that in order to travel, this is what we needed to have happen. I've traveled I'm on sorry. Southwest Airlines for the last five years like this, and I've never had a problem. Suitably dressed, he heads home to Albuquerque to slip into something a little more comfortable. 